Hi, this is Jeremy with Digi Tech Support. You may need to periodically update the firmware on your Digi networking device to add support for a new feature, for example, or fix a known issue. This video will demonstrate how to update the firmware via the device's web interface. Go to www.digi.com, click Support at the top right, click Support Tools, and then click Find Drivers, Documentation, and Firmware. Click Firmware Updates. Type in the name of the Digi device, then click the exact model underneath. This example uses the ConnectPort TS8 as the device. Within the Firmware Updates section, look for Post Firmware and download the Post Firmware if it exists. Some Digi networking devices do not have Post download links. Next, download the EOS or Embedded Operating System firmware. Devices that do not have the post download links may just refer to the firmware as firmware instead of EOS firmware. Here, we'll use an Anywhere USB 2 as another example. Although it's optional, it's strongly recommended to back up the device's configuration before updating the firmware. This can be done in the device's web interface within the Administration Backup Restore section. Go to Administration, Update Firmware. Make note of the firmware version and revision. The firmware can be identified by the version or revision. The revision is the letter and or number after the underscore. Using this Anywhere USB 2 as an example, the firmware version is 1.90.18.53 and the revision is M. Click the Choose File button. Browse to the folder where the firmware was downloaded earlier and compare the revision of the firmware that the device is running versus the revision of the downloaded firmware. In this case, revision P was downloaded, which is newer than revision M. So that tells us the firmware we downloaded is newer. Click the Open button. Here we can confirm that the newer revision P firmware will be installed. Click the Update button. After confirming that the firmware has been updated successfully, click the Reboot button. When the device comes back online, confirm that the version and revision are newer. Using the ConnectPort TS8 as an example, follow the same process as before, except you may need to update the post firmware first, again since the post firmware was provided on the support site. In this case, we can see the device is already running the revision C post firmware, so there's no need to update it. If the device was running an older revision of post firmware, it must be updated, and then the device must be rebooted before updating the EOS firmware. The device is running EOS firmware revision J, and we downloaded revision K, which is newer, so we'll update it. Again, remember to confirm that the version and revision are newer after the update. To recap, if a post firmware file is offered on the support site for the device in question, download it and update it if its revision is newer than the post firmware that the device is currently running. This is very important because some EOS firmwares require certain minimum post versions. If no post firmware file is offered for the device, then simply update the firmware, which may or may not be called EOS firmware. Thanks for watching and please let us know if you have any questions or feedback by emailing tech.support at digi.com.